What's up everybody, this is Slick Rick, and uh, if I sound a little tired, it's because I am. Uh, today, I decided I wasn't going to do any homework, and I was going to sleep. Took a little nap, because uh, Florida UF was playing the night, and um, definitely had to watch it all. Game tipped off at uh, around 10.15, so uh, kind of ridiculous. It's really late. Not a big fan of that. I don't have a problem with staying up, but um, I don't know. I don't like to sometimes. I was on a little roll where I would go to sleep about 11, wake up pretty early, have a constructive day. You probably really don't care about that. But, um, yeah, so Florida won. Um, they beat Marquette, going to the Elite Eight. I don't know. Florida has a Florida has a chance. They play Louisville next, so we'll see what happens. But that is uh, nothing what I actually wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about the upcoming UFC Undisputed patch and um, they're making uh, uh, some big moves actually so um, according to this article I'll put it in the description uh, always check the description we uh, put a lot of stuff in there but according to this uh, the article excuse me um, over 40 fighters are gonna be getting um, stats um, something to do with their stats so it could be either a stat boost or I guess you could call it a nerf you get your uh, stats put down some so they named three um, big fighters that they're gonna uh, you know touch on uh, the first being Nate Diaz second is Benson Henderson because he just won the um, lightweight championship not too long ago uh, pretty good fight if you haven't seen it um, YouTube it something really good fight and Overeem and the way they worded it is uh, Overeem sent Brock Lesnar into retirement and that kind of moves on to the next point of nerfing or stat reduction. And I'm guessing that's what they're going to do to um, Brock Lesnar. Uh, if you haven't heard, he did retire because he got beat by Overeem. It was pretty embarrassing. I was watching it. I'm um, not sure if Keith was watching it with me. I'm pretty sure he was. But he he got, really got destroyed. And uh, I don't know. It was pretty embarrassing. I thought he was going to lose, but I didn't think he was going to lose that convincingly. But... Um, more news is going to come out about the patch. That's about all we have now. But since I still have you, I kind of want to talk about ramen noodles. Um, I know this is completely, <laughs> completely irrelevant to anything you probably care about. But I was just wondering, okay. My cousin, he likes to eat his ramen noodles with a lot of water to where it's like a soup, kind of. And he pours it right into the water. Me, on the other hand... I like to eat it to where I, uh, you know, I heat the noodles up in a microwave, or even sometimes I'll put them on a stove. But that's a whole different story. Um, I'll heat them up, and I'll strain about 90% of the water. And if you're still with me, um, you really care about ramen noodles. Um, I, I strain it all out about about 90%, maybe 95%. I just want the noodles to get a little wet, and then I put the the seasoning on, right? So I think he's completely weird for um making it a soup and it's a little it's just too watery for me it's, it's tasteless like that he made it for me one time and very tasteless so anytime i anytime i'm with him I definitely got to make my own because i like my more noodle than water i want it more noodle than water ratio if that makes sense to you um well that was completely pointless um well that'll be it this is slick rick effing awesome gaming I love you guys, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.